All right. Shalom, shalom. All right. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakodas. Rock to Yahweh, rock to Yahweh Shai, rock to Yahweh, rock to Yahweh Shai, rock to Yahweh, rock to Yahweh Shai. Okay. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great wisdom, peace and salutation to the Akim of this good doings this week. In love and sincerity, and in charity. Okay. Yeah, man, this is the brother Yashawan from the GMS Bahamas camp. All right, back at you with another lesson. Okay, this lesson will be entitled, Are You a Prisoner of the Lord? Okay, are you a prisoner of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? All right. So, yeah, man. You go ahead and uh, subscribe to uh, our new page. Okay, GMS Bahamas until the end. Okay. So yeah, man. Uh, let's jump right into this lesson. Okay. It's a quick lesson. All right. Are you a prisoner of, of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai? Okay. When you think about prison, means what you are locked up. Okay. You are locked up. Okay. And and uh, and. Some of the things that are affiliated with locked up being you are being afflicted. Okay, you go into suffering, affliction, hardship. Okay. So the first precept I get is uh, Ephesians chapter 3, uh, verse 1. Okay, and this is Paul speaking. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, for you Gentiles. Okay, speaking about the Gentile, the Israelites who are in a Gentile state of mind. Okay, because if you're doing what, what the heathens are doing, then you become just like them. Okay. The Lord give us his, his word. Okay. His holy word. Okay, full of instructions. Okay, whereby, whereby we must, what we must do and what we must not do. Okay, and if we're doing these things that he commanded us not to do, then you just like the heathens. Okay. All right. So one one other other thing with affiliated with 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 uh with uh, being a prisoner, okay, is doing the Lord's work. Okay, the Lord of you, if the Lord, if His Spirit uh, uh supping with you and, and dwelling in you, okay, and you doing His will, you being a His prisoner. Okay, He, he ain't gonna let you go, uh, just like that, just like that, that say out of His hands, if He if you are the chosen. Okay, that's why we say we hope to be a part of the elect. Okay, the Lord said be instant in season and out season. Okay, so if you are a prisoner or hope to be a part of the elect, you should be continuing doing this work, instant in season and out season. Okay, this is first Tim. This is Second Timothy chapter four, and verse one. I charge thee therefore before the Most High, and the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom? Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. And long suffering is a part of being a prisoner of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so we get uh, uh, to continue doing uh, the Lord's work, which means being afflicted. Okay. Going through hardship, going through trials and tribulation, that's a part of being a prisoner. Okay? And you could ask any of those who went to prison for their first time. I never been to prison, the actual prison. Okay, so I wouldn't know exactly how it feel. But somehow I I could basically uh put my mind there, okay, based on what people describe it to be. Okay? So if you come to serve the Lord. All right, as the Lord say, you should endure these things. All right, this is uh, Sirach chapter 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy, thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Okay, endure what? Hardship, tribulations, temptations, 
okay, the 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 the, the, the sufferance, okay, and make not haste in time of trouble, okay. When you see hardship coming, don't don't jux out, okay. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end, okay. For before whatsoever is brought upon thee, take it cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low state, okay. So if you the president of, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you're supposed to take these things cheerfully. Okay? Don't cry when these things are, are happening or when the Most High bring these things upon you. Okay? If he, if he don't bring these things upon you, then you are not his prisoner. Okay? Uh, this is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and 12. Okay? Yea, and all... That will live godly in a Mashiach Yahweh Shai shall suffer persecution. Okay? Being a prisoner of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you were gonna go through these things. Okay? When you go to prison, you think it's, you think that's an easy uh, place? You think you can be eating cup cupcakes and baggies? Huh? You think you can you think you can enjoy the same life as how you had it outside here? Yeah? Freely? Oh, you ain't gonna enjoy. You ain't gonna gonna, gonna 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 enjoy the sweet things, okay? Now, us out here, who in the truth, okay? We hoping for the, for the sweet things to come. That's why we hope to be part of the elect, okay? We gonna we gonna read this word. We gonna eat this whole roll, which which have the, the bitter and the sweet, okay? This is Ephesians four, starting at the top. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, I beseech you that ye walk worthily of the of the uh, vocation wherewith ye are called. Okay, all Israel is called, but only a few are chosen. Okay, of the elect. All right, only a two, only a few are chosen to be of uh, the elect. Okay, verse two, with all lowliness. And meekness with long suffering for bearing one another in love. Okay. And enduring and devouring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Okay. So when you when you are a prisoner of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, you're gonna go through uh, uh, long suffering. Okay. As the, as, as the scriptures say, that ye walk worthily of vocation, wherewith ye are called with all lowliness and meekness. Okay, you can't say you're in this thing and you're living good. You ain't going through nothing. Alright? That's why I named this lesson, Are You a Prisoner of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? Because when you're a prisoner, you're going to go through something. Okay? Let me, uh... Go right back in the book of Timothy. This is 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8 and 9. Alright. It says, Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But be thou partaker of the affliction of the gospel according to the power of the Most High, who had saved us and called us with unholy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in a Mashiach Yahushai before the world began. Okay? So the, are you a prisoner of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai? Okay? We hope to be a part of the elect. Okay? Which is likened unto a prisoner of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Because only the elect is going to go through these things. As the Most High said that he would try them as gold is tried and refine them as silver is refined. Okay? And we're going through these things. So when we pray to the Most High, the Most High will hear us. Okay? Because we know according to John 9 and 31, he heard not sinners. Okay? If we are prisoner of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? And he, and he uh, 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 called us into this thing, okay? And we hope to be a part of his elect. We're doing his will. 
Okay, surely that he would yes. Okay. This is uh Psalm 69 and 33. For Yahweh here for Yahweh here at the poor and despise it not his prisoners. <laughs> you see that? But Esau despises his prisoners. Okay? Which are the so-called Christians today. Everybody who following them. Okay? Everybody who following after Esau Edom, the God of this world. Alright? So yeah, man. Okay? So with that, I would like to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kodash. But give me the spirit to do this lesson. Okay? So with that, I hope you edify. Alright? So Shalom and the Bible. Come Yashala.